hey there mamas and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome my name is christy and on this channel i share my life as a busy mom of four and i am a military spouse as well um but today's video i am going on a thrift store run and i'm going to share with you everything i got so today i found a bread machine for a dollar and 99 cents i got two bags here for some random stuff in here a lot of christmas stuff today and a bunch of shoes so we'll go through all this stuff when we get home i might make one more stop we'll see all right guys i am back obviously from the thrift store and i'm going to show you guys everything i purchased so in the back of my car um i showed you guys this like big white thing it was a bread machine and they had it on sale for a dollar and 99 and i looked the particular brand up of the bread machine and bread making machine and they were you know about 50 60 dollars here is the said machine and i looked inside it is clean inside it doesn't look like it's probably been only used maybe once um probably just needs a little bit of cleaning but yeah everything looks good i plugged it in at the um thrift store while i was there and it did power on so that's good all right so let's go ahead and pop into everything else i, I picked up okay so first these are absolutely in no particular order i'm just grabbing them out of the bag as i am sharing with you guys um so these are some dunes boots um ankle boots these are in excellent condition um now i got these from the goodwill outlet so at the goodwill outlet you pay for things by the pound um you don't have to pay like like store prices like goodwill store prices so in the store these were $5.99 um, but like I said, I pay by the pound and I think I spent $17 for everything I purchased in today's haul. So, um, yeah, I came out really good on these. I will be listing, um, things that are in really good condition on my Poshmark. So I'll li li link that down below. So if you see something that you like, definitely check out my Poshmark closet. Cause they'll probably be, probably be listed there. I don't know why I can't talk all of a sudden. Um, but if it's something that I'm keeping, I'll let you know. Um, these are size six and a half, so I definitely cannot fit these, but I will be posting these on my Poshmark. Super cute. Next up are these Aldo heels, and girl, these have not been worn at all. It still had the paper on the inside, um, brand spanking new. There are no tags on these, so I'm assuming these came directly to the outlet from somewhere um, and not from the store, but these are the bomb. They're like suede. Um, in perfect condition like I said they've never been worn look at the bottoms boom um, these are size 38 which is like a seven I think or seven or eight I can't remember um, but yeah so I will post these on my Poshmark so definitely look out for those these are cute if I think I might I don't know I might keep these <laughs> um, but yeah so yeah I, I might post these or I might keep them I don't know they're so cute though all right next up are these Libyan Sam flats I just love the little ruffle looking the curved little detail on these um and they're black they go with everything these are a size six um they're really cute these are in really good condition as well probably never worn they don't look like I don't see any kind of like stains or anything on the inside um yeah these were in the shoe bin so probably not even a dollar if that um but yeah so i'll probably be listing these as well unless zanaya wants them so um yeah cute next up are these um bcbg generation flats they're the tie up like lace ones um these were in really good condition as well they zip up in the back um the bottoms are really clean i doubt anyone wore these um it's a rubber band on them because in the bins they they tie the shoes together so that's why the rubber band is on there um i checked all the soles and everything everything looks to be legit so 
I'll definitely be posting these on my Poshmark. These are a size seven and a half. Um, perfect color. I will probably clean these just a little bit just to make sure there's no dirt or anything. I recently purchased a like suede cleaning kit. So if I have any like suede shoes, I can clean them up a little bit. Um, they don't need a lot. I just want to make sure that they're nice and um, clean before I post them. Um, but I'll post these on my Poshmark a little bit later uh, today. So look out for these they probably will sell kind of fast so uh definitely if these are something that you want to pick up definitely go grab those really quickly and i might also pop these on my makari as well um uh, if anyone uses that then check me out over there i'll i'll link all of my shop links below for you guys if you ever want to shop my closet okay, these are definitely going to need some cleaning these are some um h and m flats little loafers uh but i thought they were super cute and worth the pick up there's like a suede material as well um size 39 definitely some wear but nothing crazy just normal wear um i thought these would be super cute for the fall so i went ahead and snagged these so if i can fit these i might keep them but <laughs> look for them on poshmark or uh, i might also post these on makari too um or facebook marketplace i don't know but since it's our h m but definitely look for them on poshmark first and these are my last pair of shoes that i picked up i think these are zara and they are bomb these are perfect for fall i can definitely see these with some cute skinnies or nice skirts um these are size mm, what size are they oh these are 38 as well size 38 oh these probably all came out of the same person's closet oh, look at the little toe piece on on here y'all these are cute perfect fall shoe yep i'm just gonna clean these babies up and get them posted on poshmark the next few things are super random um but that's what happens when you go to the thrift store you pick up random stuff so i got this little puzzle for um aiden to do it's a toy story puzzle uh, he loves toy story so i got the, him that um i checked in here so all it's never been opened all the pieces are there so good to go on that front he loves puzzles he likes the challenge of a puzzle so um, I found this little Nintendo DS bag. I will be giving this to one of the boys. They both have Nintendo DSs. I think I got two bags. I, saw, I found two Nintendo DS bags. Um, if they don't want them, then I'll probably, you know, post them somewhere. But if not, hmm, here it is. Here's the other one. This one's more like a, I like guess, a, like a, like a, like a satchel type one. You know, it's like over your arms versus this one having like the little backpack straps on the back which is super cute <clears throat> but yeah this one actually has some stuff inside so I, I don't know i'm gonna have to check this one out i saw like some cords um it has some styluses in here so i don't know we'll see i'll check this stuff out a little bit closer look at things but yeah so i picked that up I also saw the this uh, Doc McStuffins. It's a window balance, but I'm actually gonna just use the fabric and make something for Aubrey because she loves Doc McStuffins. Um, obviously, this is someone made this too because I looked for tags. There were no tags, so um, and I see like the little fabric edge right here. So someone made this. I'm just gonna reuse it and make her something out of this. She loves Doc McStuffins favorite animal is the penguin so when i saw this guy i was like oh yeah you're coming home with me um it's made by the petting zoo brand i just love it he's so cute i'm gonna sit him on my desk all right i found these really cool nutcracker ornaments um they had a bunch of christmas stuff out yesterday they had some mickey mouse stuff but i missed the sale on that um some of them are you know need some work but they're super cool. I was thinking about putting them um, up on eBay. So if this kind of stuff interests you, I will post those on there for you guys. You can go buy them. I thought this was cute. 
Oh, it's not gonna focus. There it is. Isn't he cute? Anyway, so yeah, I got a bunch of those in this bag. And speaking of nutcrackers, I found this other nutcracker. He's a little bit bigger. Um, there was a, a couple of these together, but um, they had, each of them had like something missing. Like one guy didn't have his pole, and one of them didn't have his foot. Like his little boot at the bottom was missing. One's hand was missing. Um, yeah, so I uh, just got this guy because he seemed to have all the pieces. Uh, this one actually wasn't by the pound. This one was 59 cents. Uh, but yeah, so I went ahead and grabbed this. Thought it was kind of cool. Lastly, from this trip, these are like, I have never seen these. These are like some hand painted ornaments. Um, they're definitely hand painted because you can tell. But, um, I plan on putting these all together. It's like a bag of them and selling them on eBay. Yeah, I think they're really unique and cute. So that is all I got out of this particular haul. Um, we will be going to the flea market this weekend. So if you guys want to see what we get from there. Last weekend, I got this purse back here. You just can see it. I got this purse from the flea market. It's an Alexis something. I forgot the name of it now. But um, I paid $6 for the purse. And it, it's actually a genuine Mexican brand. Um, and they're like $100 plus. Dollars. So I got a good deal on that. Over here, guys. <laughs> I have all this stuff I need to go through. But this is stuff that I've collected from the last few um, hauls I've done at the thrift store. Uh, again, like if there's anything on here that I don't want or don't, don't plan to keep, I will be posting those things on my Poshmark. So just definitely go check out my Poshmark closet. A lot of stuff over here I've actually already gone through. So um, definitely go down and check it out and see if there's anything you guys would like to help support me. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Do you guys go thrifting? I took one of my friends thrifting recently and she was like, oh, I've never been thrifting before. A lot of people don't go. Um, but it's really fun to me, except for when people start acting crazy, like today when I went. Um, but other than that, <laughs> it's a really fun thing to go do. Um, also, my friend that I took thrifting with me, she just started a YouTube channel. Her, her husband, um, they are so cute, and her and their little son. So go check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put her channel link in my description box too, so you guys can go support her, my homegirl. She lives like three houses down from me. Uh, so yeah, go ahead on and support her and her family as they start their new YouTube journey. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in today's video. Follow me on Instagram so we can chit chat. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.